morning YouTube. How are you all going today? Another day, another lot of work. Um, my wife's down the shed getting the angle grinder. I know she's at the camper trailer. We run the house all night off the camper trailer. And people ask, why did I get such a big battery bank? 500 amp hour, 48 volts, it's not a big battery bank. But it does give me three days redundancy in summer and two days redundancy in winter. Um, which means I don't have to burn fuel. All right, uh, oh, the lights are on, oh, I'll turn off. Um, this morning, well, I've already switched over to these inverters this morning. They're running my house again, no battery bank, of course. Um, I just love these inverters. There's not many that will do this. Like, for instance, this old inverter, it will not run off grid without a battery bank. But uh, these, uh, what are they, MKs, I think, um, will run off grid without a battery bank. And I just love that. I, I totally love that. Holy ghost, people. I got the lid off, it wasn't hard. They are huge. All right, we got this battery in. Now, the cables that come with it, I don't know what they are, they look like they're 35 millimeter squared. Um, I don't know, it's all in Chinese. Um, I'm not, I mean, they're probably fine. Let's face it, they are probably fine for most systems. Um, however, I like absolutely no resistance at all in my system. So we're gonna be using the bus bar and we're going to be using some good old 70 millimeter okay Australian made wire with 99.9% .9 pure copper and no oxygen content okay all right everyone there it is both the units are in and charging they appear to be working fine um, I've ch set them up to charge how the owner of uh, Green Bank told me we're getting over uh, 4000 watts when I turn this unit on it also turned the second unit on uh, because they through the communications port between them. I've got a cable here um, for a maintenance cable. Um, if anything goes wrong, we can have a look inside. Um, like I say, it's, it's in the afternoon, okay? Um, it was really cloudy earlier on, but it looks like the clouds are going, so that's good. Uh, that's what it's currently doing all right uh, you can see that plainly enough there that says a hundred percent we're not ignore that the shunt is 100 percent totally lost um, I just reprogrammed that for lithium uh, 500 amp hour instead of a thousand amp hour and it's a smart chunt, so it'll sort itself out over the next couple of days. Oh, hello everyone. I'm totally stuffed. My wife's totally stuffed. I tell you what, it's been a hard couple of days, and we've still got a lot of cleaning up to do. All right, we managed to get the uh, new batteries full today. That's what they're at now. 
like I say, don't worry about the solar because that's only working off one charge controller. Okay, since we turned it all on, after we charged it all up, that's where we're at. Let's go have a look at the batteries in the dark, okay? I'm a bit slow because I'm very sore, extremely sore. But we'll go and do this for you so you can see. And uh, tomorrow, if you want, I'll show you a bit more about how they're wired and all that. But basically, the batteries are wired as, wired as master and slave. Um, they both got they both got um, very good BMSs in them, and. Yeah, the kids are awake. There they are in the garden. You can see their eyes. It's uh, getting a bit nippy again. All right, so let's go in here and have a look. All right. Well, there they all are. This one's the master. It controls this one. Um, when I turned the master on, it also turned the slave on, so on, so forth. Um, how they're wired is how George told me would be the best way to wire them. And uh, basically, this big thick cable, that's the, the three aught coming in from the power room. And either side of that, I've got a battery. Same down here, this big thick one is a 3 aught. I haven't heat shrank these yet, but this is a 2 aught coming from both batteries. And in behind all those covers there is where the, they are. Um, there's a communications wire uh, in case anything goes wrong and we need to diagnose what's going on in them. And they're fitted very, very securely um, to the uh, metal that's behind that um, one centimetre uh, compressed fibre cement sheet. Same as down there, there's a fibre cement sheet. Same as on this wall here, there's a fibre cement sheet. And as you can see, well, they're basically, they're not there. Um, down enough to uh, trip another light yet. And the inverters are going nicely. That's what the vaults say in here. Uh, this hasn't got a whiz bag on it, more, on it anymore. It's funny, it's still in float. Can you see that? Weirdo. Eh? All right, I'm pretty impressed with how fast they charged up. Wow, you should have seen them. They were every single bit of power, and it, and it was a bit overcast today, but every single bit of power on the roof was just pumping into them, and they charged up real super fast. All right, YouTube, that's a, a look at them tonight. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And comment and leave an emoji because it really helps my channel grow. Okay, cheers everyone. Bye for now.